Mother just announced a new album and her babies are thirstier than Jason Kelsey at a Chiefs tailgate. Taylor Swift launched another album at the recent Grammys. She drops those things more than the Chiefs wide receivers. Hey and she did so with a theme of black and white, inspired by her new romance with uh-oh Oreo boyfriend, Travis Kelsey. It's a oh big week gosh. for Travis and Taylor with Kelsey getting his fourth shot at a Super Bowl. No wonder he's the face of Pfizer. Mm -hmm. And rumors are <laughs> swirling that should the Chiefs win, Kelsey could potentially propose on the field Oh. which would be the most viral NFL knee since Colin Kaepernick, and this one would also make white people lose their minds. <laughs> but I hope everyone gets a ring. Taylor, Travis, Patrick Mahomes, senior from jail getting a call from his son that they won. Oh. Yeah. That is right, folks. Oh, Mahomes man. senior received his third DUI last weekend. Jackson Mahomes was arrested last year. Patrick Mahomes is the real uh-oh sandwich here, and it needs to go. Speaking of going, Taylor's travel back from Tokyo has been dissected more than a Patrick Mahomes in science class. Frog joke. <laughs> but I just hope she gets oh. back safely. I think we've had enough Asians crashing and burning in front of Taylor recently. I just wonder if the Chiefs do win. I don't think they can simply go to Disney World as all Super Bowl winners do. Taylor has made them too famous. Plus, Mahomes would try to eat the Bugs Life exhibit. <laughs> Frog joke. <laughs> when discussing it, if they should rent a private villa in the mountains or the ocean, Mahomes oh. was rumored to have said, I'm comfortable with either, seeing as I am an amphibian. <laughs> you know all the stars <laughs> will be looking their best for another Super Bowl. Fresh haircuts and all. Travis Kelsey is under fire as some are claiming he has gentrified the fade. I don't know if they're talking about the haircut or the passing route because he's been gentrifying the end zone for a decade now. Speaking of interesting <laughs> hair, Jay-Z had much to say at how wife Beyonce has never won album of the year at the Grammys. All while sporting a haircut that kind of looks like he has antenna, to which Mahomes made him <laughs> very hungry. I got 99 problems and my chick ate one. Last frog joke. <laughs> And she ate one. Brittany Mahomes' stock is way up after becoming besties with Taylor. She's also a loving mom to Sterling and Bronze. Wanting to continue their trend of naming their mixed humans precious metals, Brittany is said to be pissed at Taylor because she just announced a new black and white baby that will be platinum. Hmm, maybe we can name it Palladium. <laughs> <laughs> All right now. <laughs> well done. We're back with Greg Defendants. Katie, what'd you think? Wow. There's a lot to dissect it's there. It's Grammys week. It's Super Bowl week. I mean, it's just a great, it's a great time to be white. There is a lot. In Kansas City. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was great. A lot Thank of punchlines in there. A lot of frog jokes. You. Just as many as I thought there would be. Well, good. Let's get into today's episode. Roll music. <laughs> Correct opinion. Correct opinion. I ship a lot of things. Merch, Katie's in my marriage, Taylor and Travis, and uh, Ship Station has made it way, way easier and cost effective. You know, <laughs> fun. Up to 89% discounts on these shipping rates with US, USPS and UPS. Wow. ShipStation is, it has a free trial and a quick setup. It's so easy to try things out before you commit or get started right away with ShipStation. Uh, I, it's really changed the game for us. And they have enterprise solutions that reduce warehouse costs and improve profitability. As your business grows, you can save thousands on shipping costs. ShipStation's robust automation and reporting makes scaling easy. Whether you're a big company, small company, 100 packages a month to 1,000 packages a month, optimize and keep up your momentum for growth with ShipStation. Use promo code TREY today at ShipStation.com to sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, promo code TREY. Oh, Katie threw out her back. Yikes. Yeah, we got to find, I'm, I'm struggling to find time for the gym. It's just hard. We're busy. You know, we're already into February. Those New Year's resolution BS might be slipping away, but with FitBod, uh, it's way easier. You just show up, open the app, and get to work on becoming your best self. It's even better than a personal trainer because it's cheaper. You can work out from home and with no equipment, and it's an easier way to build a personalized fitness plan that works for you. I love this. Yes. Uh, FitBod creates a personalized workout routine based on your goals, your fitness level, and your available equipment. It adapts as you improve. It tracks your muscle recovery, uh, fine-tuned by uh, experienced certified personal trainers. What else do you need? Yeah, FitBod, it's helped us a lot because you never know – uh, so, you know, we're, we're on a crazy schedule. We're traveling. We're yeah. not. We have a kid. You do this on the road. Nice. And you just have to find time to do it. And FitBot, I, I've done some really nice, like, no equipment, hit workouts. It's been great. FitBot, uh, you can, we have an offer for you guys right now. Show up and let FitBot handle the rest. Join FitBot today to get your personalized workout plan. Get 25% off your subscription or try the app free at FitBot.me slash Trey. That's FitBot, F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash Trey. You know, 25% of the people who climb out might have first die. 
Uh, and I've heard 100% that do it in flip flops do die. wish they had shoes on wish they had shoes on mm-hmm. wow. and that's kind of what it feels like breaking a bad habit just hiking up Everest with flip flops I've been there too trying to you know I'm a nail biter whatever but here's a breath of fresh air fume it's not about giving up it's about switching up fume takes your bad habit and simply makes it better healthier and a whole lot more enjoyable fume is an innovative award winning flavored air device that does just that instead of vapor fume uses flavored air instead of electronics fume is completely natural and instead of harmful chemicals fume uses delicious flavors uh, fume, they have this new magnetic stand for your fumes. So you don't move, re- lose it around the house. It tastes better, much better than I thought it would. It's kind of like vapor herbal tea. Yeah, you're mm-hmm, liking the teas, I love right? love tea. So, uh, Katie, why don't you tell them how, how we get to start the year off right? Yeah, start the year off right with a good habit by going to tryfume.com slash tray and getting the journey pack today. Fume is giving listeners of this show 10% off don't, don't start when giggling. they use... Code Trey to help make starting the good habit that much easier. <laughs> Fume. Fume. <laughs> Woo. Uh, I hope everyone liked the monologue. I uh, man, I got into that. I got down a rabbit hole. Not another, more frog jokes or less. I think it was the perfect amount. Okay, <laughs> four would have been too many. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> there were four. <laughs> it felt like three. It kind of uh, yeah. I feel like two. Two was like three is too much, but then four is. Like good. Does that make sense? Like, oh, he kept going. Now we're back. It's to funny like because it. of he's overdoing it. And uh, I like that you didn't try to nail the Mahomes impersonation. It's like a purposefully like I'm going to be pretty far off. It's here. funny because <laughs> I posted the an actual sketch we shot on like my pages and people are like, what a spot on Mahomes impression. It's me just like, oh, Travis, I got a game. You're going. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't think I'm nailing. Like, the I'm not really I trying. Ridiculous. <laughs> but, um. Gosh, it's a great, it's just a great time of year. Great to the Grammys. I didn't watch it, did you? I did not. Uh, I, mean, I caught Ra- up with it all, though. Yeah, it's, Rachel uh, did a watch party. Um, uh, Ooh, a watch tea- party. Oh, oh okay. Is, fun, is she in the lab? Fun. Or just I Grammys? think like, if she gets invited and I'm out of town, she's like, yeah, I'll go. Oh, okay. <laughs> so gotta, that was the scenario. <laughs> Taylor broke a record. Fifth. No, she won the fourth album of the year, which is a record. Wow. Wow. No one's won it four times. Uh, she is just... On a whole nother level. It's unbelievable. The I don't know who her is she that genius? Is she thinking of the marketing and all this? Did you see the strategy? The it black was and like, white. It's like her website was down before. Yeah. So people thought she was announcing uh I think another Taylor's version. Reputation yeah. TV. Yeah. Yep. Uh yeah, that and then she it was a misdirection and she had her like inner circle all changed the Travis profile pictures to black and white. Yeah. And it's just, and then she gets she I mean the confidence to be like all right so obviously I'm gonna win a Grammy tonight <laughs> so when I do I'm gonna announce uh, the thing I'm gonna post and uh, it's just crazy she didn't mention Travis in any of her speeches well it's because talking the whole, about the whole album is about him so he'll get his time mm. nineteen songs this April all about Travis people no. are saying it actually might be about Joe Alwyn ooh yeah people are saying could be a shout out to that guy whoever she dated. You know, it's funny. I don't even seek this stuff out, but I follow so many basic white girls on Instagram that I am pretty in the know because I Mm -hmm. couldn't even tell you who Joe is. I don't know why he's famous. I don't know why he has many followers. Honestly, but I did see that he. This is crazy. I mean, I'm going to sound like I definitely. uh, Someone posted all of this. I didn't see this. I didn't even look at this. I don't even. I just just read it for an hour. I didn't mean to convert it to memory in regard to the podcast. But so there's some like old like lore with him and Taylor. They used to date, I guess, and he used to have some sort of group chat. That in the title of the group chat was like what she named her new album, like based off of the Swifties listening know what I'm talking about. But okay, I saw some about a group chat. Yes, we Wait. follow the same white girls. How does she? Do, uh, yeah, it's all just a web. I mean, yeah, she the, her team is got it's amazing. amazing. She, it had a, she had the, the new like watch on your necklace trend. She had it set to like a time midnight. That, yeah, right? mi- oh yeah, midnight. Midnight is always her thing. Yeah, I mean, it's like a. I don't know. It's like a cult a, a Jordan Peele movie or something where there's there's a twist and there's uh-huh. you know I just I mean what can she not do? Mm, it's starting to guy. get <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of crazy. To me. I almost put that in the monologue. Not people in this new day and age where people you get a lot of you better work in every single race. The people it is shocking. She's dated maybe I'm missing one. I feel like she's dated 15 guys. They're all the same looking white guys. And uh, it's fine which I'm fine with. You know, she has a type. type. I don't think there's bad, but it is kind of a ama- she's the most famous one on the planet. You think she'd she maybe get a little flack for that? Yeah, mm. I mean, it's fine. Let's have a type start it. as long as Let's you start don't on this s- podcast. 
She's racist. <laughs> Trey, Taylor oh Swift, God. let's start it. Racist? <laughs> Black and white? Just throw it in our face? Yeah, that's the only like really like color she's ha- got going on in her life. You know, she's like, oh, you guys do the black part and I'll date the white guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is amazing how she weaves this all together and that she's the she's mother. Yeah, mother. I think you're definitely allowed to have a type, but you can't say whites only. Like it can be a certain type of white guy you're attracted to, but you can't like be like, yeah, you you say, white? Like, I, I skew white. But you can't say like, I don't only date white guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I'll talk to her. I've started to do that just to be more fair when people are like, oh my gosh, your wife, can I, like people I meet, like what does she look like? I'm like, she's white. <laughs> I start with that because you can't assume such things. You yeah. know? I go, well, I'm going to go meet my buddy Jake. We have this podcast. He's this white guy. <laughs> white. Uh, Elmer's yeah. glue. <laughs> All over. Yeah. He's, st- he's we're sticking together. <laughs> just to be fair. But I am, I, I just, I, I can't believe how prolific she is with the music. It is amazing. Yeah. A lot of Grammys, a lot of wins. Can you guys explain so to me? So much content. Yeah. I mean, in high the middle, quality and quantity. That tweet that's going viral. It's like Taylor Swift just put out her second album during a world uh-huh. tour, and I can't take out the trash and do the laundry in the same day. Yeah. Or something like that. <laughs> and yeah, it is crazy. She, uh, I was looking at all the other Grammy wins, and I, somebody needs to explain to me, what's the difference in record of the year and song of the year? Uh, record of the year means album of the year. No, it was like a song. I, I figured, Oh, like, really? Yeah, it was like, oh. uh, what, what were you made for was the record of the year, and then something else was song of the year, something like that. Oh. I, could, I, I wish I could tell you. I don't know. I don't know if that was Let like us know, guys. Commonly known thing. Is it if it actually got put on a vinyl record or not. <laughs> yeah, just the literal vinyl <laughs> of the year. Was it put on a vinyl? Uh, oh, I just got it right here. Yeah, what do you got? What do we got? Record of the year deals with a specific recording of a song. It recognizes the artist, producers, and engineers. Okay. Song of the year deals with, I guess, just the composition of the song. Okay. So not I see. that different, but so, that's fun. Yeah, recognize, record just recognizes the producer and other people. And the engineers. That's cool. you, like the biomedical engineers. Yeah, a lot of biomedical engineers <laughs> winning uh, album of the year. I mean, record of the year. Yeah, <laughs> record, vinyl year. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I I didn't watch the Grammys, but I texted my wife Rachel and I said, uh, "Anything I should know about the Grammys for the podcast?" And she said, "Just Taylor." <laughs> 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 that was that was she the first text. Just Taylor, and then she said, "Let me think." And she said. Jay Z said, "Some people don't deserve to be nominated." Was that a thing yeah. that happened? I, that's I mentioned. He got up there and was like, "I guess Beyonce is maybe has some record where she's been nominated or won so many Grammys, but never Album of the Year." He's like, "That's you know, some of y'all don't even deserve to be nominated." Yeah, you know, he kind of did one of those. I don't know if he's. It's a little. It was a way tamer version of like Kanye is like Taylor, unless you finish, but Beyonce, but Taylor's the queen. Beyonce is she's Beyonce is the queen. Yeah, Taylor's our mom. <laughs> Which one will be, will be more sad? I do die. feel like <laughs> I mean, I do feel like Beyonce I mean, has like died down a little. Like she's not as hot as she used to be. I don't feel like she hasn't come up with stuff in a while. But I mean, yeah. she's 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 easy number two female in my book. It's just yeah. different. Taylor writes and sings all. It's crazy. Yeah, Beyonce doesn't write every single hit. She's she's not a writer. She's got a team of writers. Taylor yeah. Swift is legit. Her and a guitar, just teardrops, and her and a guitar. Man, yeah. what a good song! <laughs> it's really amazing what she. There's not. She is kind of in a league of her own because even Michael Jackson. I don't know. I could be wrong. He wasn't a. He had a team helping build him up. He wasn't like the, the yeah, foremost yeah. writer. Any of the. I mean, even like Elvis. I mean, he didn't write anything. He was doing. He yeah. would just like take culturally black songs and just like kind of like meet in the middle with them. Unreal. You know and. Yeah, Ed Sheeran is close. Just to not get this one wrong. Some of his most famous songs Michael ever written himself include Beat It. All right, I take that way back. Yeah, yeah. Michael Jackson. Okay, so she she's easily the Taylor of our time. Michael Jackson was a prolific songwriter. He's, he wrote all those songs. She's easily the Michael of our generation. It's been confirmed. Um, I need to So, I, I mean, any day now, she's going to turn black. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is, there's a balance out there in the universe. <laughs> what? Black and white? She's going to... She's gonna might have whoa. debunked it here. Might have debunked it. Michael Jackson. What was which album did he start changing? <laughs> what was it named? Rachel was especially excited. The she's uh, dating an older guy. 
opposite. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yin and Yang. <laughs> yeah. What were you going to say? Uh, well, yeah, I was trying to think more. Uh, Neverland Ranch. She has a song called Wonderland. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's the opposite. Uh, that's something else I just thought of. Um, <laughs> I, I was trying to think of other things that correlate to both. Uh, she, he held a baby over a balcony. She... And she did not. <laughs> she, and did. she did. <laughs> and not the opposite of most opposite you do Jason that. Jason Kelsey hold, held a child over <laughs> a stadium to show her, um, over a her stadium <laughs> to show her. Wow! Her yeah, a lot of similarities. Yeah, a lot of similarities. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. uh, I can't remember if I've talked about it on Crutch Painters or not, but Rachel and I are going to see Taylor Swift in concert. We had the tickets for Forever in Portugal. Oh yeah. In May, and so the fact that she announced a new album coming out in april rachel's fired up like that's going to be like a new era like we'll be in english the show uh uh, no i I don't know i (laughs) I don't think she sings in spanish i keep forgetting you're doing portuguese my bad you're going to lesbian right yes yes i've heard it's in the ladies yes um yeah so if you want to see her hop in all right tickets still for sale it's different over there than america Uh, i mean just yeah like like, second name stuff hub stuff like that but Oh, is it like crazy thousands of dollars or not that intense? Four months ago, it wasn't. Okay. I don't know what it's like now. But gotcha. Yeah. Mm. Wow. I'm really going to like miss out on a a generational thing if I don't go. So. Well. All right. Got <laughs> to make that happen. Let's wrap this up quick. We got to go yeah. to Tokyo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My first concert was a Taylor Swift concert. Your first one? Yeah. Wow. Back when she was country, University it's of Virginia. She, it's oh, taken on wow. a life of its own because now it, there is this sense now that you say that of like you we're alive at this time. We have to kind of like see her in concert yes. at some point. Yeah. She's reached that level where you're like, I don't even really want to, but I guess I saw her it's in like, 2015 and it was really good, but it's like drinking a beer or something. You're like, I mean, I guess I'm, I'm at the age. I should probably try it. <laughs> That's <laughs> what it's similar to. to. Okay. Uh, Katie, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. We like to, the way we like to do in the studio is to almost forget everyone's birthday. <laughs> and just Not him, though. You knew it was it. her birthday. Saturday? Today. It's actually today, yep. What? <laughs> no, that you guys misled me. <laughs> See, that's how we like to do it. You guys misled me the last week on the every, podcast. All, every person in the studio, I think we're three for three. I think I'm the only one left. We go, oh, wait, today? <laughs> we like to do that here. So happy 30th. It is such 30. a common thing. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, I know. It's great. We always do it. You guys said something on the podcast last week that really made me think it was this past weekend. We celebrated we did. it Friday. We did celebrate it this past weekend. Friday into Saturday morning. Uh-huh. I got up, got up with Thomas, fed him his first couple meals, let her sleep 11 hours straight. Whoa. What a gift. I mean, what a gift. And then gift. today, I've had to like fight. I'm like, no, I can't, but I can't do more today. He said, that, he said my birthday doesn't count today. <laughs> and so we now we celebrated. kind of in this weird thing where she's like, it's my birthday. I was like, but, but we already did it. I, I have to write a monologue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was kind of what it was. It was like, we can go. Okay. She's like, I want to go to my favorite coffee shop and get like a fun thing. I'm like, okay, but I can't talk to you. I have to write the thing you guys just heard me read in 80 seconds. <laughs> it took me an hour. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I can't birthday. It's today. Happy yeah. birthday. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. And uh, uh, this is, this is 30s, man. She. Yeah. Let me tell you. This is 30s. I last night um, when I was trying to give Thomas a bath, I kind of threw out my back. <laughs> so your bath. that really, I really kind of had like an internal moment of like, oh my gosh, I'm old and I just <laughs> threw out my back. And I really kind of got upset. <laughs> got mad at your back. Feeling- Dude, the best part of having a child is like, she was threw out her back and clearly wanted to have like a classic female breakdown which they're, they deserve to have. But he's just like looking at her and laughing yeah, <laughs> and like yeah. climbing on her. And yeah. it's just, and we have to get do other things with him. And she just had to suck it up. Yeah. It's like, wow. I did just kind of lay in the lay flat for about four hours after that. But mm-hmm. feeling a little better today. But then, woke yeah. Woke up on the birthday, iced the back. Yeah, woke up, <laughs> iced my back. <laughs> was the, the night, the day you threw out your back, was it before or after the 11 hours of sleep? 
It was after. Yeah, that's the problem. I feel like sometimes my back gets sore yes. after I like stay in bed for too long. Oh, wow. <laughs> Which is, I'm also in my 30s. Like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. But, but yeah. Gotta be careful. As you know, obviously today is the actual birthday. So of course we have to keep going. So we are going to, she wanted this, nothing crazy, wanted this certain place for dinner we haven't been to in a while. And so we're going to do like a 515 dinner. Yeah. Nothing it's says, like this is ice the back, five o'clock dinner. Like this. We'll be laying down by 730. Early bird special. <laughs> <laughs> Easier to get a reservation at 5.15, though. Yeah, we didn't oh, yeah, get one. Oh, yeah, don't worry about it. Just waltz in there. Don't worry about it, yeah. <laughs> so, that's fun. We, yeah, speaking of in, the, in bed early, Katie, she got some new pajamas for the birthday. I don't know about y'all's wives. or y'all recties, the ladies out there, your wives, girls, the female pajama trend. What's the fancy brand? You're talking Lake? Lake pajamas, yes. Google. Derek, Google Lake like just no, like yes. L-A-K-E mm-hmm. Better pajamas go incognito yes. window I don't know what the, pa- pull up. the pajama trend Katie comes to bed looking like Oliver Twist Oliver and I'm Twist. just what are we doing or she comes there she looks like she's gonna make butter or something <laughs> click on the website look at all these it's like this trend of wearing doilies around your neck <laughs> while you doilies. sleep I don't have anything extra else. extra read all about <laughs> it like, I got a box of matches for a penny <laughs> I don't have anything that looks like a doily that I sleep in I just it, it throws me off it's like she's she's gonna like oh for match. him I'll go to the you can match go to click on the women look at this they're yeah. pop-ups the yeah. pop-ups are getting after it there you see what I, that looks like something you put on a little baby. I was going to say, it looks like it's, it's meant to catch your food. And then that. Okay. There it is. That looks well, cozy. I don't have that doily one. <laughs> I don't this have that. You have a lot. that looks like that. Whoa, I don't have collar any. pajamas. I don't right have there? a collar. What are we doing? That looks like a meeting. <laughs> I don't have anything with ruffles. It's just crazy girls. have Everything has to be cute with a girl. Just throw on a t-shirt, right? Well, I don't get it. I feel like you, you don't want to go too far. I, I got married this past year. I was very much looking forward to what Rachel might be wearing to bed. And, you know, what do we got? Maybe some of those bachelorette gift party gifts I was hearing about. I don't know. Uh-huh. And uh, pretty much the whole time, it's been like a, a different, like, you know, district champs high school t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's up, bro? <laughs> it's just it was 50 dudes on the back of her shirt so, from her old high school. That's right. Oh, that's it, cute. Be careful what you wish for. It feels <laughs> yeah. like the ladies, it's either like Little House on the Prairie or like, check up. <laughs> I do feel like Wolverine what girls, pride. you can probably, if you know a girl well, you can probably tell what she wears to bed. Like, there's wow. options. Like, I've done that with my friends where I kind of guessed because it's just a personality thing. Like, do they wear a matching set and it's always a matching set? Yeah. You know, is it is it just a t-shirt? Is it a, a like nightgown? Is it mismatched? It says a lot about your personality. It does. What are you, what are you wearing about? Yeah, because I think. What are you rocking? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna guess that you, mean, you just you don't care. You just change it up every night. I sometimes no. you have shirt, sometimes no shirt. Well, yeah, a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's honestly, crazy. Rachel kind of yeah, a little that's bit. That's crazy. I, it's, it's not even something I really think about because uh, yep. Rachel sometimes like I've gone to bed in like a in a hoodie and a collared shirt. There was one night I was I started to do this more of a bit, but I was like, hey, this week's formal uh, week, and so I would wear a different collared shirt to bed every night. <laughs> I, I did that like two weeks ago. I forgot about that. But most of the time, I would say it's like a t-shirt and boxers. That makes sense, Derek. Uh, American flag. You know, boxers. <laughs> uh, give us, you know, print out of the Constitution yeah. and a handgun, and then that's it. What do you do? I've switched it up shirt versus no shirt. It, it's 50 50. Seasonal? That's psycho behavior, yeah. man. Are you just every, every night? Same it's consistent. Thing? Yeah, I'm just in my skivvies. Skivs, huh? Mm-hmm. And a cert, but it has to be the right kind. Yeah, I was going to say, panties. he makes it sound like he's like, so it has to be the right kind. And, <laughs> and sometimes he doesn't realize he has the wrong kind on until we've been laying in bed almost asleep. For oh, sometimes I try to push myself. Ah! Like, <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I have wrong <laughs> undies on. Take off. <laughs> Well, sometimes so I try to push through. Like I don't need to wear a certain type of underwear. I'm not a lunatic. Like, like, I'm, I'm, fine, I'm, like, fine. I'm like, ah, I can't do it. I can't do it. So it's I get up and I got to so change. So annoying because it's always like, okay, I'm almost asleep. And you gotta do it. Yeah, it's neurotic stuff on my end. Yeah, gotta be the right kind. 
That's a good point. I'm going to start. I, I like your point, Katie, of like you can like almost get to know a girl and already know what she wears to bed. Yeah. And I'm going to yeah. start, I think, testing that out when I meet yeah. someone. Like, I bet I know what you wear to sleep in. <laughs> I asked them that. It's a great icebreaker. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah, when you yeah, meet yeah. a girl, yeah. be like, I think, okay, I'm getting a vibe. Mm, I need boy shorts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm? Lacy. Yeah, <laughs> Am I hot or cold? Hot or cold? Uh. So creepy. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, Rachel's uh, just uh, whatever. I mean, I swear sometimes she is she is specifically picking out the scratchiest shirt she has. Like, I she has plenty of just cotton t-shirts, and she will go and find like you know a shirt you get for free at like a career fair. You know, it's just like it looks like a old navy would say, "Oh, that's not nice enough for us." You know, and she is like wearing it to bed, and but I think you could also assume that you're like, yeah, she doesn't wear a lot of makeup. Her jeans are too short. Yeah, she probably doesn't care what she wears to bed. That's yeah. her style. I'm a very like based on my mood. Based on like how I'm feeling. Really? Yeah. If I'm if I'm just kind of like blah, I my pajamas are gonna be pretty blah. Okay. Yeah. If I'm feeling pretty put together that day, maybe a little <laughs> set. So you can so really. You might, you might go satin. Might go yeah. cotton. Yeah. 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 So you, mean, you never know. You really don't. It not, none of it's ever sexy. <laughs> It's the one part you know. You know what I said? You know what I said? I said, if you have a problem with my pajamas, buy me some pajamas that you want me to wear. Yeah, I really don't have. And then he doesn't care that much. I just like to make. Well, then I couldn't keep making fun of you every night. Like, oh, here we come. Polar Express has stopped off. (laughs) It's too much fun. All about. It's so he. Okay. Every woman, just your normal button-up front pajamas that like. I don't get the normal. button. You sleep with buttons. I see cold. Buttons and a I collar. <laughs> They're so it's normal. Wild that girls do that. It's so normal. And you think it's so? It's like so normal. It's so weird. Imagine going to like ah, I'm exhausted. <laughs> okay, well, have you ever That's had? Crazy. To, have you ever had to breastfeed at night? I no. Yeah. No. The buttons make Not it helpful. College. The buttons. Make it tray. Buttons are helpful. Yes. I mean, I no. You just go lift, or you go. <laughs> That's easy. It's Four cold. buttons. If you have to lift up the entire thing, it's kind of cold. Oh my gosh! You don't know. This is uh, <laughs> adjacent to um, what we're talking about. So I've started keeping actually a note in my phone of just the weird thing. So Rachel and I will get in bed at the same time, but I'm a little bit more of a night owl, so I might just stay awake like 30 minutes longer than her. And Rachel really comes alive like once she's fallen asleep, I, and it's. It's freaky. It creeps me out sometimes. So this is what happened. um, The most recent thing. So it's just a a list of things Rachel's done in her sleep. Last week, she um, sat up and looked at me and said, do you have the sign? And I said, I don't know. And then she just gave me a a thumbs up and said, oh, well. And then went back to bed. Oh, my gosh. I mean, that's like every four days. She does something like that. The one before that, she woke, I wrote down, woke up, checked watch, started clapping. (laughs) (laughs) Went back to sleep, then started clapping again. That one, yeah, no words. Just like a. Oh, my gosh. That's weird. That's terrifying. She just slightly comes alive. One time she woke up and said, sorry, the kids have to see me. And I was like, <laughs> okay, yeah. Go back to sleep. It's, you're just piecing together a puzzle over the weeks. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. All right, what's going on here? Delete the text messages. Don't read them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is she? What? She said something weird last night. Uh, yeah, so that's always fun to report back. Like, can't wait to tell you what you did yeah, last night. Yeah, you definitely keep us posted with that. <laughs> wow. That's frightening. That um, uh, okay, what else? Wait, you, 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 I have a correct opinion. Yes. Permission to share. Happened uh, this morning, and I was really fired up about it. So I, I woke up in Austin, Texas this morning. I went to bed around 1 a.m. and had to wake up at 3.15 because I booked a 5 a.m. flight for myself oh. and some friends. And that's one of those things, sidebar Why already. Why you do that? I know. When you, I, you fly so much. I know, dude. I know. So <laughs> I'm looking Five. at it s- Sunday night, and I'm thinking, like, all right, what, what flight did I book? And then I realized, wow, it's not direct. And it's at 5 a.m. I'm like... I was the one who booked it for everyone. There had to be a reason. And I'm guessing there was a reason, but still, I was so mad at myself for doing that. So yeah, I slept from like 1 to 3.15, not a lot of sleep. And it's a non-direct flight. You got to stop in Dallas. And we finally get to Kansas City, and I'm still like exhausted. And I'm driving my friends back from the airport to our car. And my correct opinion is, my, my friend is just like sitting there, shotgun, just like staring ahead and just like, I don't know. I feel like wanting to have conversation. My correct opinion is if you're sitting shotgun, I want you to be on your phone because I, (laughs) 
I can't be on my phone. I have to drive. You should get enjoy your phone. Uh, don't just sit there in silence like a psychopath. Wow. Get on your phone. I can't. You deserve it. Yep. He, so he wasn't speaking. No. He, he wasn't. Mainly silence. Just. That's a psycho move. Yeah. You're like, you just don't trust a guy who does that. I'm like, get <laughs> on your phone. What are you about to do? You just think he's, he's putting together a plan to like kill you all or something. You wouldn't rather him talk to you? You'd rather him be on his phone? Well, I think my lack of sleep might have somewhat factored in okay, here. Okay, it's like, okay. I don't want him to talk to me. Yeah. And I, but I insane. also don't want him to just sit there like a freak. Mm. Get on your phone, dude. Phones are awesome. We just took wow. ours off airplane mode. You don't have people to talk to. Do Get on Instagram. Wow. It's awesome. I, I think there's a very clear car kind of decorum where <laughs> if, if your driver or whatever, it's this quiet space. Yeah. Maybe not a short ride, but a, a road trip. There's a very clear, maybe some chatting here, there, five, 10, 20 minutes, and then you lock in. Everyone goes phones. No driver, driver, just kind of. I do the driving. Ma- I'm I safe. disagree. I, I'm tr- oh, I disagree. If I'm driving and you're a passenger, I need you to entertain me. I can't entertain myself, so I need you to talk to me. I need you to. Mm. That's another one of my rules too. Mm-hmm. Is you can't like if the sun has set. This there's a lot. <laughs> if then statements. If the sun has set, you cannot fall asleep. Yeah, riding shotgun. Yeah. That's your job. Keep me awake. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, there's a, let's see, now we're getting down. Like, cause if, if you're driving, you want to be, you don't want to quiet. Well, it's impossible to be quiet when you're driving because we'll be shouting out of fear. I am not a bad driver. <laughs> so, that is so not true. Ah, break, break. Not true. You do get going. She'll just, I'll be like, you're kind of low key going 25 over. Like, oh, oh, oops. I can get, I can get a little fast. Yes. <laughs> So Becca doesn't like the podcast that I listen to. So I'm saying if you won't let me listen to a podcast, you have to entertain me because I can't do anything then. So that's yeah. my correct, correct yeah. opinion. That's true. She'll be, I'll listen to whatever podcast. And at some point she'll be like, I'm done. I can't. Yes. I don't want to listen. I can't do mm-hmm. whatever this is anymore. Yep. I'm like, okay, well, then what do we do here? Mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm agreeing to drive as long as I can be listen to this. Yeah, I think the driver definitely gets like press it down on like what gets listened to. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you're if someone else is driving, you should get to Easily. keep yourself awake however you need. Easy. Uh, okay, let's let's move on. Thank you for the correct opinion. Yeah, it's like, nice to no share. No problem. Super Bowl's right coming up uh, around the corner. Speed, <laughs> speed's important <laughs> on the field and also when you're shipping e-commerce. Oh, really? That's what I was going with that. Yeah. Uh, as a customer, and also obviously as people running it too, we both use. Uh, e-commerce sites to sell stuff and ship stations change the game for us uh, because it's just the best. Shipping can make or break a sale. As your business grows, ShipStation can help optimize how you ship your orders so you can stay competitive while you scale up. You can easily automate shipping tasks and manage orders in one simple dashboard. That's great. I can't handle two dashboards. Simplify and automate your shipping no matter how big your business grows. It is the most affordable way to ship everything you sell online. Industry-leading discounted rates from USPS, UPS, DHL, and Global Post with discounts up to 89% off USPS and UPS rates. I mean, that wow. is, I mean, we're saving. comes down to that. Over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce businesses with ShipStation. So it's not some, you know, new kid on the block. People are using it. 90% of companies, 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. Life. So optimize and keep your momentum for growth with ShipStation. Use promo code TREY today at ShipStation.com to sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, promo code TREY. Oh, Katie threw out her back. Yikes. Yeah, we got to find... I'm, I'm struggling to find time for the gym. It's just hard. We're busy. You know, we're already into February. Those New Year's resolution BS might be slipping away. But with FitBod, uh, it's way easier. You just show up, open the app, and get to work on becoming your best self. It's even better than a personal trainer because it's cheaper. You can work out from home and with no equipment. And it's an easier way to build a personalized fitness plan that works for you. I love this. Yes. Uh, FitBod creates a personalized workout routine based on your goals, your fitness level, and your available equipment. It adapts as you improve. It tracks your muscle recovery, uh, fine-tuned by uh, experienced certified personal trainers. What else do you need? Yeah, FitBod. It's helped us a lot because you never know. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're on a crazy schedule. We're traveling. We're yeah. not. We have a kid. You do this on the road. Nice. And you just have to find time to do it. And FitBot, I, I've done some really nice, like, no equipment, hit workouts. It's been great. 
FitBod, uh, you can, we have an offer for you guys right now. Show up and let FitBod handle the rest. Join FitBod today to get your personalized workout plan. Get 25% off your subscription or try the app free at FitBod.me slash Trey. That's FitBod, F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash Trey. What's a bad habit you've tried to break before? Ah, uh, eating too many crackers at once. Is the worst, right? It hurts the roof of my mouth. You guys ever tried to break a bad habit and felt like you're climbing Everest, Everest and flip-flops? Wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been there too. But here's a breath of fresh air. Fume. It's not about giving up. It's about switching up. Fume takes your habit and simply makes it better, healthier, and a whole lot more enjoyable. Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavored air device that does just that. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. Instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses delicious flavors. That's right. And for the flip-flop lovers out there, you can still wear flip-flops while you use this. It's just, yes. The Everest makes it yeah, tough. Lame, Did you guys know Fume just released a magnetic stand for your Fume? So there's no more losing it around the house. That is actually very helpful. It's built with fidgeting in mind. You can spin your Fume around on it. Okay. I like the fidgeting because I'm a real fidgeter guy. And, uh, oh, yes. yes. It, it looks nice. It tastes better than you think. It's kind of like a nice herbal tea. Sure. And, you know, vapor. Mm. Form. So start the year off right with the good habit by going to tryfume.com slash Trey and get into the journey pack today. Fume is giving listeners of my show Correct Opinions 10% off when you use our code Trey to help make starting the good habit that much easier. We, I want to talk about Ballerina Farms. Do you guys wear this? Wear it? I, I'm the one who told you about it. Uh-huh. Aware of it? Oh, or aware you, of it. I don't wear it. Wear is it a merch do you company? Wear, do you wear any Are you aware of it, Derek? I'm, really, I'm not aware of it. Wow. Ballerina she, mm-hmm. She's got like a bajillion followers. Oh, this is a yes. female. Yes. She's an influencer, Mormon farm girl with like eight kids. And it's and she's it's the classic, right? She's had eight kids, but she's still very small and pretty. It's, she, it's called Ballerina Farm because she's a Juilliard trained ballerina. Oh, wow. Yeah. Good for her. Yes. And she cooks, and it's all very like picturesque. And she just competed. What she in, wear to bed? Um, Probably a nightgown to her knees, based off of her. Yeah, Mormon. Her nightgown to her knees. Aesthetic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Keep sweet and pray and obey. <laughs> this we're yeah. And so <laughs> uh, she just competed in Mrs. America. No, Whoa. she just competed in Mrs. World. Oh, thank you. She Didn't is either Mrs. Of America. Wow. Yes. Competed in Mrs. World a mere eight. No, 12 days after. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> I'm the one who told you about this. <laughs> you go, okay, keep, take it from here. Sorry. 12 days after having her eighth child. Oh, well, you knew something was eight. She went on stage and did this and did a full pageant. So she's getting a lot of heat because she's like, you know, setting unrealistic expectations for mothers after childbirth. Oh, well, and that's like saying LeBron James is setting unrealistic expectations for basketball players. Exactly. <laughs> you know, if you can do it, do it. Right. I, I think like, those men should start reacting like more like the women. Be like, <laughs> just Mahomes at the Super Bowl, and we're just upset. Like, this isn't. Well, listen, what are the ten year old boys supposed to think? They can do this. A, he's a husband and a dad, and he's doing this athletically. <laughs> I don't think we should support this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just someone being excellent. <laughs> yeah, what, what's she supposed to do? Yeah, right. it's crazy. I mean, <laughs> obviously, like, she's had eight children. She knew how it was going to go for her. Like, she's had a lot of experience. She's done it. Right, so. yeah. It's not hard on the body anymore. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no, not oh, at really? eight. It's like an oil kind of, change. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> you ever, like, run a mile? And you're like, oh, my gosh. And then after, like, eight years of running, you're like, I don't even... Yeah, I'm on a phone call while I'm doing it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm sure it doesn't. I'm sure it doesn't even hurt her. Yeah, to have a child. My point exactly. <laughs> yeah, Crisco. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so um, it adds up. She's out on a beautiful farm. They're farmers. How's how are they? There's so many kids. How do they form this? Oh, the 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 husband is his father founded JetBlue. Yeah. Oh, and so, so that, that that you know people hate the rich yeah, people. They're people, like, oh, they're just uh, trust fund babies, just yeah. living their life out on a farm. She's she's too pretty and skinny. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, people. It's just like started this whole thing. They're like, you can't. the The new trend of like, because she, she only she doesn't do any of the new new age. Like, here's how it's like hard being a mom. She's just giving you the hits. Okay. She's like, here I am being cute again, making a delicious meal again on a pretty farm again. On mm. on like a grill outside on her porch with That's like it. kids homemade, frolicking, laughing. Yeah, with like cream. Here I am again. Like cream from her actual like cows and like yeah. My hot husband who looks like Rip 
is like making cows make me milk that I turn to biscuits as my kids laugh. And yeah. she does it again. And people are furious about it. Which I this mean, girl's cool. I'm looking yeah, at Instagram I, now. This is awesome. See, I'm a fan of it. Cause which the people also get mad. And it's, I think that the, this is going to get blown up a little bit more. Maybe is that she clearly also has like help and like, maybe not with her kids or something, but there's, there's, there's probably some branding and marketing going on with this like ballerina farm. She has aprons. She has like, she's, she's marketed it up. So like there's, there's people helping her, but no one like shows that. And so once again, women get mad, like <laughs> she's not doing all this on her own. Like, why isn't she showing, you know, it's like, <laughs> well, she doesn't have to. It's just really, how does she, just, have, oh, what do you, how does she have four, eight kids, a farm? She has yeah. 15 million followers. I bet she could figure out a way to monetize she's that. She's probably making yeah. money. So it's kind of like just, most of the influencers you see are not doing it totally alone. Like, just use your brain. I don't know. It's like... <laughs> yeah, and, and, and the second she starts posting about her assistant, and then the comments become like, does, does you know, she have their consent to be posting them like this? Is she, did they sign up for this? Did they yeah. know they were... You know, whatever. So it's a lose-lose, but that's yeah. fun. Ballerina Farm, huh? What's her real name? I don't know. Uh, Hannah... Diana or something? Neilman. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm... I'm I'm back towards team. Give me the highlights, okay? This trend, these people recording themselves crying. Be real. Yeah. Be quiet. <laughs> it's too, can you picture someone crying and they're like, yeah, that's okay, so record. weird. When people record like, no. themselves crying. Show yourself on a nice day. Record it. Let it. You know, I. Uh, you have to be a lunatic to watch this girl on a farm with eight kids and think her life's perfect. Oh yeah, yeah. eight kids on a farm. Yeah. Once every, she, she for sure had nine at one point. It ran off. She never found it. <laughs> you know, there's bad things happening. Don't post that, obviously. <laughs> yeah, don't post the eight you keep. <laughs> yeah, you just change it to seven. We just never know. <laughs> Scratch you off find it. The bumper sticker on the car. Right, it's get rid of that. <laughs> too one. much land. Oh yeah, I feel like once every two weeks I see a, a white girl on Instagram come to the realization or repost something. It's like. You know, life's not about the highlight reels like what we have on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, but Instagram is though about the highlight yeah, reels. I, We're all good with let's that. Just, it's fine. <laughs> we know that life, you have kids. Life's hard. Yeah. Do you guys think, I saw someone post this. She makes some content and she was saying that she really thinks that TikTok is a lot more vicious than Instagram. Do you guys agree with that? Comments and stuff? Yeah. Uh, we've seen yeah. both, I feel yeah. like. I think we've seen both. You never know what. You can get a, I think they just have a life of its own. So for whatever yeah. reason, TikTok started pouring on this girl and it just kept going. But I think for her vibe, she's very millennial, very highlight really. Maybe the Gen Z younger TikTokers like, what's it? What's this? What is she? 48 kids. She's hotter than me. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She doing this old school stuff. She's a stay at home mom. And what's she wearing to sleep at money? night? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, can we go back to Mrs. America? I didn't know this mm -hmm. was a thing. Mm -hmm. Are the like are the skills much more like matronly and more like homey at Mrs. America? Like mm -hmm. my skill is homeschooling or something like that's right. the stage talents. It's not. They don't do bikini contests. They do uh, like a pumping contest or something. Uh, who pumps the fastest? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, who has the like the, the, the is, best supply? That yeah, is yeah. not what happens. Like the yellowest. Yeah, right. Yeah. Harvest. <laughs> Del Harvest. <laughs> it's a lot more, uh, yeah, misses involved, for sure, for sure. I, Who, no, no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I've, I've seen breast milk one time, and I was shocked at how yellow it was. So I don't know if that's like you want it that way, or that's bad. A I little just, learning lesson, right? It, <laughs> it starts days. very thick and fatty and yellowy. Oh, so they, I saw They need good... it more, more, more. And then as, as the time goes on, it looks like milk. Gotcha. You saw some real saw rare. Some. It's kind of like finding a holographic Pokemon. Or something. <laughs> you got in there early. Oh, they got a rookie card. <laughs> Breast milk. You got a rookie boob. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the. So she's like crushes it with um, like she wears the dress, but she also she's pumping and she makes good meals and she's they uh, they just have them like go up there and just into mic and just say like how are they can they possibly say like i was wrong i'm sorry just oh, like those my phrases gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that was a sign of a good wife and husband yeah it's i do it all the time mr USA. my mistake i say that to you all the time sorry uh-huh uh -huh. i do yeah 
I think I like no, this little. They have the whole, he has said that 20 million times like in the past life. day. And it is so annoying. I think I like this little. I, uh, I'm still on Ballerina Farms Instagram and just clicked one picture that kind of stood out to me. She's like hugging what looks like probably her grandpa. It's her dad. He, I think he passed away. Okay. Oh, just, oh, shoot. He came to oh, her wow. pageant, and I think that he passed Wow, that after. happened. Okay, yeah. So two weeks Breaking ago, news. he was still alive. And so he doesn't look well, but her caption says, my daddy made it to the pageant. It's been such a tender week in many ways, as heaven has been close for all of us. So grateful to my family here this weekend. And the top comment says, totally weird when children are being bombed in Palestine. See, that's <laughs> that's too famous, right? There. Is Mrs. American? Why are, why is she involved in that conversation? Her that's, dad's about to die, and he did die a week later. There you go. Did, there, did there's no, that's that, not a highlight reel. Did she post that he died, or did I? Yeah, it looks that? like okay. you see a picture of okay, okay, uh, coffin. Yeah. So, well. so there you go. She does post the sad stuff. Yeah, so yeah. take that, Gen Z TikTok. <laughs> not all, not all sunshine over there, but she, she is like a. It's fascinating to me when certain influencers like that, you just know nothing about her. She just posts clips of her like picturesque life. She yeah. doesn't have a podcast or anything, so I don't. You're just like, what? What's happening over there? Which it's kind I of think a fun mystery. It's part of the allure, right? It is absolutely. I actually think that like some kind of influencer people that I've followed, and it was a little bit more of like a highlight reel, and then when they start to get a little too like information too much information like, guys, i just want to start to be real with you guys really break I'm it down kind of for like Unfollow. i don't really i don't really want to hear that i kind of just like, want to see I, your I got another uti <laughs> it's honest we should talk about it more as yeah well. like, just, okay well you know what i'm having breakfast while i saw this <laughs> so i don't i'm know. worried about my own yeast i got a sourdough rising and now i gotta yeah, hear oh about yours oh, <laughs> you guys are the only one today this is so it's gross. your birthday. It's your We're birthday. trying to make it fun. Oh my god! This is a female episode. I'm sorry, ladies. Yeah, you gotta, you're franchising a Panera down there, and I'm over here trying to figure it out. Stop talking. All right, <laughs> Ballerina Farms. Go follow her, support her. <laughs> <clears throat> this has been over uh, TikTok for me. Uh, this Snapchat was, uh, I'm sorry, TikTok was in a court for some reason. I don't even know how any of it works, but it's been a lot of funny stuff. Obviously, TikTok was banned in Montana, all this China oh, ties, I forgot about this that. crazy stuff. And uh, yeah, their India, CEO Montana. is Asian. He's from Singapore. And there's these viral clips of a, some senator, white guy, who's like, are you, you know, are you, do you have ties with China? And the guy's like, I, Senator, I'm from Singapore. He's like, okay, do you have a, you have a Chinese passport. He's like, no, I, I am from Singapore. It's like, it's not on a map. It's not even really close to China. And then he just keeps going. He's like, you have a ties to China, He's like, sir, <laughs> sir. I'm from Singapore. Uh, so th there's this other. Uh, I'm going into this blind. I'm excited for this. Okay. If, um, this is a Mr. question the CEO of Snapchat got by by a unit Spiegel. Senator. I see you hiding down there. <laughs> Good start. What does yada, yada, yada mean? <laughs> I'm not familiar with the term, Senator. Very uncool. <laughs> Can we agree that what you do, not what you say, what you do is what you believe and everything else is just cottage cheese? Whoa. What? Mars. <laughs> yes, Senator. You agree with that? Speak up. Don't be shy. Wait, that guy was from Singapore? No, sorry. That was that's that was the Snapchat. Snapchat CEO. Oh, okay. I'm just okay. saying I was describing how these senators I, I see. just say or crazy that stuff. That senator has some wild roast, so you could look at his highlight reel. <laughs> you know, Patriots. You, will. Yeah. <laughs> his last name was Kennedy. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Grand, great uncle, calm down. Well, what yeah, you can tell he's got some he has some fun in there. You you can speak up a little bit. I think yeah, the rest is cottage cheese. I'm tired cottage of seeing cottage cheese. Cottage cheese to me. What was he bit. referring to? Snapchat. I see too much cottage cheese on my Snapchat. <laughs> These women too big. <laughs> like, whoa! You can't say that. <laughs> what, what is yada what is yada yada? yada, yada, yada mean? Exactly. He thinks. What does he? Th what do we think that he thinks that means? Some <laughs> awful like offensive thing. That the CEO of Snapchat was like, I've never even heard of that. 
<laughs> just gaslighting a sinner. <laughs> I think you just made that up. Just made that up. <laughs> I have no idea what cottage that cheese, sir. There's no such thing as cottage cheese. <laughs> Why would that even be his question? Like, what was he trying to prove to? I got a little lost in his question anyway. He's like, could we agree that w- what you do is more important than what you say? And I know. If I you're would. not proving it, then the rest is just cottage oh, cheese. <laughs> <laughs> You can, can agree. Speak up, right? <laughs> the guy's just kind of like, I have no idea what like, you're saying. Whatever gets me out of here quickest. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I do love that. Uh, there's that Seinfeld episode where that one guy, he just leaves out the most vital parts of stories by saying yada, yada, yada. He's like, so I meet this girl. Yada, yada, yada. yada. And her dad is dead. Like, Whoa, what? you left out some stuff. What happened? Yada, yada, yada. That's so funny. Though. I, I love a good. We always, I feel like every six months, uh, some congressmen are asking tech CEOs crazy questions. Yeah, he it's was awesome. Very uncool. <laughs> very uncool. <laughs> very uncool. <laughs> the China Singapore thing. I mean, that gets anybody seventy and older. That's confusing <laughs> for everybody. I reminds me of the time when we did that limo road trip back in the day. I still remember going through Canadian Border Patrol, and they stopped us and they asked to see all of our IDs. They made us get out of the car. The dog sniffed at everything. It's clean, obviously, and they take us in for questioning, and they're like. <laughs> This lady just thought she dropped a mass, you know, a cottage cheese type bomb on us. And she's like, so you're telling me you guys are just friends? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, and then she thought she was like, all right, well, this will get them. And she goes, hey, she has our IDs. How does a guy from Oklahoma know a guy from Missouri? <laughs> what? And in that moment, like I, it was, I didn't They're even know so how to close. Yeah. I, I, like answer it. It was like it's such an easy. It's like it's those, like uh, the Singaporean China guy. You're like, like you are from China, right? Like <laughs> Singapore. <laughs> You're like how, how does Oklahoma Missouri mix? Like they they touch each other. America. I don't know what it, you know. Have you seen that TikTok trend where it's like name a woman and people like freeze what, up? What do you mean? Name, Katie, a woman. name a woman. Name a woman. Name a woman. Katie. No, no. <laughs> a, name a, a woman. woman. A, a woman. Name we would a all famous know. woman. No, no name a woman we would all know. Woman. Beyonce. There we oh, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. It was like that. Like Missouri and Oklahoma. How would you know each other? I just uh, drugs. Like, you want the full story? Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're both. They both sell a lot of drugs. But <laughs> yada yada yada. <laughs> Native American. I shouldn't have said that. What a weird. Was she? Were they questioning everyone, or did you guys just look extra suspicious? I mean, we came through in a limo, so I think that looked like a little suspicious. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, they went and checked it, and it was late at night, and I think just nothing better to do. But yeah, I'll never forget that because yeah, she's questioning two of us. One of our friends, uh, he was a fortunate stop. He had some really bad diarrhea, so he's in the bathroom, and so she's like, "We're gonna continue this when your other friend gets back." And then it just looks like he's stalling because it takes him. 30 minutes to get out of the bathroom. Oh, She's no. like, uh, you need to go check on your friend. Yeah, I don't know what's going back on. Sweaty, like, <laughs> <sighs> I got rid of all of it. <laughs> like, okay, okay. <laughs> what's going on? What's going on here? Check the toilet. Check the pipes. <laughs> yeah. Good times. <laughs> oh, wow. Anyway. Um, one other thing just on politics happened to me this weekend. I, uh, I'm going to, we went down to Austin, Texas for some Friday pickleball stuff. We're at this really nice private court in a really nice part of Austin. And the guy's telling us, hey, fun fact, this home you see with the court behind us, uh, LBJ used to live here. And my friend, Isaac, is like, LeBron James? <laughs> <laughs> is that Gen Z for you. That's crazy. Um, I, I say, because I know he went LeBron. Cavaliers, Heat, Austin, huh? When do you live in Austin? Well, I thought yeah. it was Akron. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Did he say it to the guy or to himself? He, he told us afterwards. He's like in his head thinking, just like, how did, Le- when did LeBron, like when he was a kid or like, yeah. is he vacation what? here? Bronny, did he have like a stint <laughs> on here? That's a great. That's pretty neat. Where's your That's a funny bar? joke. You should put that in a set somewhere. Like, LBJ. Have a, yeah, Gen Z confusing LBJ for LeBron James. <laughs> So, yeah. Well, greatest man ever lead our country, LBJ. Uh, <laughs> I knew LeBron. I mean, he's good at basketball. Don't he? No one's even graduated from a school. <laughs> he didn't go to Do college. You, see you see that? What is some, was that real? Something came out about LeBron's. Uh, he funded this school to help under like the less fortunate kids, which is cool. But there's something that came out. They're like, not a single kid is like made it to college from oh, this school. I do kind of remember that. They were graduating people at a really low percentage or something. Yeah, I don't remember the data, but I remember seeing that come out. Yeah, not a good look. Mm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what the details were, but <clears throat> LBJ. Great um, man. Uh, okay, Apple Pro Vision. You getting one? Is it Apple the, Vision Pro? Apple Vision Pro, okay, sorry. Okay. I just want to make sure. Yeah. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> I bought an Apple Pro Vision. No wonder it was only 800 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Apple Vision Pro. Do you want it at all? I, 
I think uh, I think it's just wise to not get the first version of anything. Yeah. Don't you don't mm. uh, don't get the first Model T. Don't get the first iPhone unless you're like a collector. Right. But in like five years, we're gonna figure out some cool things to do with it. And by cool, I mean dystopian and scary, and we won't I talk have, anymore. I think the only enticing features I've seen from it is like something that looks cool. But I'm like, I shouldn't do that all the time. They're just like, yeah, you put them on, and I can watch like six shows at once. <laughs> Which why like that's well it's like you know it's like sports right like okay have you they'll show like okay NBA league pass you throw this on I got four games I got stats running here I got <laughs> just you just sit there with <laughs> Katie not now not I mean, now I'm watching three NBA games watching, some little you know, golf and football watching Lyndon B Johnson have a triple double <laughs> <laughs> this is oh my god I mean this is just, just gonna make just uh, hey boys you wanna, Jake you want to come over and watch the NFL Red Zone all all the games at once pause. Pause. Did you just pause? Oh, did you see that? No. You, oh, you can't. We're just watching different. It. It's on the back TV. You're watching. Okay. Now I can see we're it. We're watching oh, different wow. things. I mean, yeah. This I'm is glad just you came make over people, for this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Oh! I can't the, find her. There's too many TVs. Which one are you Taylor? looking at? Where's Taylor? Are you on the Taylor cam? Yeah, I got a. Well, I have her concert playing as well. Oh, which one? Oh, wow. Which era? This is going to make the people Apollo so 11. ADD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just don't think. You want it, that's not something you want to make a habit out of. Or I saw a guy just like, you can connect it to your MacBook and throw the display on there. And he's like, look, now I can make the screen really big in my headset. And I'm like, I don't think, Did you I think it's fine looking at the screen like this. This is really good. Yeah. Did you guys see the that clip of the guy in his cyber truck with the Apple Vision Pros? He was no. driving yeah. with them on. <laughs> the capture was just like, we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Have you seen one in person? I saw one riding down the highway. In Austin, I saw a cyber truck. I saw one here. Cool. I yeah, they really look, rolling them out. They look kind of cool. I need to unsubscribe from mine. I, I yeah. no, you don't. I uh, we do not need that. Put a deposit down two years ago for one. Yeah, we don't want that. That was back when Teslas, you could just immediately sell it for like 20 grand profit. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, Sit. yeah, I'm like, cool. I'll get one and sell it. But I don't. What's the look? Is that the case right now? I, I, wouldn't, even, I, I wouldn't even look. I just assume. Okay, I'll just see. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, that's, I get it. yeah, that sounds like a really good plan. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, dude. How it's almost like a bit that'd be worth it just as a bit to pull up to your buddies. Like, hey, I'm coming over. Like, dude, you have a cyber truck. <laughs> yeah. I thought I'd, you've seen it. No, you've definitely seen it. No, I've definitely not seen your cyber truck. No, I last time I came over, I had it. I've had this for a while. Guess not your friends. Also, you to, can we go back to like, is it surely it's not legal to drive with Apple Vision? On. No, so you well, the part of the technology is you can put them on and still see. Well, that is true. I always forget about that. It's more like augmented. So it's, like, that's um, how it's different than any other VR headset thus far. Is you put them on and you can still go about your day, and it's kind of like this, <laughs> like dystopian. You know, I have my goggles on. You can't tell I can see you, but I can. I'm also working. I was going to say that's still dangerous. What I can see <clears throat> the road, but I can also see these shows going on, and <laughs> yeah. like, that's well, still yeah. so dangerous. Listen, I, I, I'm not saying we should all wear them while we drive but he, it's possible i think it should be illegal and i wish tesla would just let us watch tv on that front screen no come on let us do no, it no it's dangerous oh, it'd be so much better i thought about getting one of those attachments for the ipad with the suction cup and just no. on there on a road trip <laughs> i've googled jailbreak like, my tesla i'm like i don't know if that's a thing I found sketchy, uh, like black market on eBay, little weights that you can clip onto the steering wheel. That'll make it not, because if you have a Tesla, the autopilot, it'll drive for you, but it makes you like really still grip the wheel. And there's like an eBay thing I think with clips on it, and it alleviates that. I saw a whole Reddit thread one time. It was people comparing, like I've, I've been trying an orange and I, I kind of cram an orange in the steering wheel in the pocket. Someone else was like, I've had a lot of success with a grapefruit actually. And people going back over different fruits that like work great. Citrus. Man, just add a little bit of weight. I I mean, one time I was in an Uber. This was a long time ago. And he asked me if I could give him directions because he didn't want to turn his show off. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> even back then, I was pretty young. I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> you can put the directions on your phone. You'll be all right. You'll figure it out. That's, uh, that's wild. So, yeah, you going to get one? Or are you intrigued no. by it? I'm intrigued. I... I've had some of the other headsets, and they're really cool to play with for a bit, but I'm there's no world in which I'm going to like throw on that thing every day. Uh, yeah, we don't really know how to best use it yet. In a few years, maybe someone will figure something out. Like, oh, these goggles are actually perfect for 
Yada, yada, yada. I, I think there could be random really cool uses like on a tour bus laying in your bunk. Yeah. Would w- watch a movie. Yeah. That's so specific, but there's not too many instances where I think it'd be cool. That's yeah. a really specific instance, and it does sound nice. Yeah. It's like you can't fit a, a laptop really in the tour right, bus bunk. Just, and, yeah. You I'll guys are both on. like, I think I want to buy one now. <laughs> <laughs> Sold. We could share one. I get Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Uh, okay, let's get uh, let's wrap up with some fan videos. Always send us in your videos at correct at tracking.com. Again, we're running. Thank you, everyone, who bought some merch last week. We're almost It's almost gone. Trying to get rid of it for some new merch on sale. Store.tracking.com. Wrecked wow. use merch. Email us, correct at tracking.com. Derek, who we got? Let's say hello. What's up, What's dude? up, correct opinions? It's me, the half-sheltered helmet guy. From a couple episodes ago. Helmet dude. No, helmet I don't guy. wear a helmet all, at all times. Luckily, I'm not that weird. The helmet it still kind of looks like a helmet dude. <laughs> um, I don't really know why I filmed the video when I did. It was kind of weird. Um, I was biking down some trails, you know, listening to the podcast in my ears. And I'm about to hit a tree. So I roll off and I scraped up everything. It was bad. I was in pain. Blood on my knees. Dirt on my hands. A helmet on my head, and I think, what better time to film a video for my favorite podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It was kind of weird. Adrenaline. But yeah. Also, you guys were dressed in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. I'm from there. Oh. Sadly, I cannot go to the show. I was busy that day. Biking. Sucks. But I'm really excited. to uh, busy in Eau Claire. You know yeah. that you guys were here because it's a smaller town, but it's just fun. Yeah. And Jake, I saw you ran your mile outside, and it was like one degree that day, I think. Um Ironically, I ran right by that path like five minutes before Strava said you ran there. So Dang. it sucks. I wish I could have bumped by you, but yeah. How was the run? How was Eau Claire? Let me know. Here we- wow, dude. He's, he almost got you. Locked down on the Strava app. My, my first thoughts are stories not adding up. <clears throat> you remember when I ran that day, the sun was setting. I ran at like... 445 right before a on check. This guy's also on a run yeah, right he, then, but he's somehow busy two hours later. What was he in doing? Eau Claire. He definitely got the time zones mixed up, you know? Yeah. Man, that right on the edge there. Yeah, he just showed up an hour late. You did you did get the run in the cold there. So yeah. So can people see where you run? Um, so yes. <laughs> that's <laughs> wow. like a little creepy. Because I've been, you've been sharing the runs. I'm like, that's kind of a cool, like follow along with me thing i didn't know it was like they could location. like literally see your location i will say i have a like a privacy setting turned on where they can't see the first quarter mile or the last quarter mile so that way they can't see where like my house is i see like where i started the run when oh, i'm at okay. home okay they can kind of see a general area of where i ran okay but, okay um someone's as a, really as a, fast as a they female, might be able to get you that, sounds, <laughs> that sounds like a terrible idea but. yeah they've probably gotten sued a few times I don't yeah know. but uh <laughs> yeah that is fun eau claire great town yeah, thanks, dude. Sorry to miss you, but it was a cool little town for sure. I, uh, we had a great show. Yeah, it's Who a bummer else? that he's a big fan, and we actually came to a small town, and he's like, I had something. Dude, it is. <laughs> it's like both encouraging and discouraging how often still just run into people be like, dude, biggest fan, hugest fan. Like, are you ever going to do a show like here? And I'm like, I, yeah, I've done several. Mm-hmm. I, I'm trying so hard to let you know. <laughs> or, or like I, I had a dude come up to me okay, this is good. last weekend. I uh, just went out. To like watch watch some basketball and grab a drink with friends. This dude came up, like younger guy, like I, I'm I kind of an aspiring comedian influencer, like doing that, like a nice kid. And he's like, so, uh, and the, he he does two things. One, he goes, uh, do you so you have like a job? And then two, he goes, <laughs> <laughs> which, which I'm like, you're aspiring influencer, and like it feels like you really don't know how this works. <laughs> and two, he's like. Do you? I'm actually do some of the comedy clubs around here. Have you ever thought of like getting into stand up? You're so funny. Ooh, and so it's fun. and he led with like I'm a huge fan, and was, I wasn't upset. I just in my head I'm just like how fascinating that so this guy could be like oh my gosh I'm meeting Trey I love you man. Do you have you ever thought of even getting on stage? I'm like <laughs> I feel like I've been screaming it for years. Like Please, I'm in your city on stage. You so I don't know if it's like a good it's, it's both good and bad. I guess there's still more fans of potential, but bad that. He had no clue that I even did it, let alone. Uh, there is some upside here, tickets. though. Yeah. Think about how many people who would consider yourself a big fan and don't even know you do stand up. Yeah. That's it's kind of a fun opportunity. But also, like, man, if they haven't gotten it yet, when will they understand? Also, starting, you talk about Kate, 30s, feeling old. It's the uh, how it's increasing where people come up a little bit younger. All of a sudden, like, 
college grads are 10 years older, younger than us, yeah. which is shocking. And it'll be, you know, a, a sweet, they seem young, but they're probably 23. And the, a lot of times it's like, my parents are obsessed with you. <laughs> and you're just kind of like, wow. Yeah. I'm, pro- I'm almost closer to age than them. You've probably gotten this, you but are. I've had someone it's uh, like, take a picture and be like, can we get a picture? Like my mom's going to freak out. Yeah. I'm like me too. <laughs> In a bad way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. How old are you? <laughs> That's so awesome. Okay. What else we got, Derek? Hey, everyone from Correct Opinions. My name is Liz. I am coming to you from Ohio. I love all your content. Um, I love listening to the podcast every Wednesday. Usually it takes me about a week to get through all of it. But um, this message is actually for Katie because I am also a fellow non-animal lover. Um, okay. It's actually gotten worse as I've aged and become a parent. Dogs actually really annoy me if they look too scary or too big. Dog bit off um, I don't want leg. them around my kids. I don't <laughs> want them to lick their face. Uh, I don't really want to pet them. Um, but all my friends have always said that uh, I have no soul. I'm really evil. Uh-huh, just uh-huh. all the things that I get from dog lovers and animal lovers, they just think I'm the worst. So you're not the only one. I have like one or two other friends that also feel this way. So there are a handful of us out there. You are not alone and wow. you're not the worst because <laughs> sometimes animals are annoying. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and um, I'll keep listening in and encourage everyone else I know to listen because you guys are awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Wow, I feel you. so seen. Happy oh. birthday, Katie. Oh, I know. Liz. I feel so seen. A lizard. Thank you. Know, you. <laughs> wow. We're kind of starting a movement here. There's a community out there. I, the there business is, idea. They're, they're scared to speak up because people. <laughs> You're a bit silent. You're yeah, really they, empowering them. I am. Uh-huh. I think we should, we should continue to do it. Business idea. Maybe. We could start some kind of business where if we go to like local veterinary clinics and I, and like it's like just pay them a nice little cut of our business when we chart like just a live stream in there. <laughs> the euthanasia. Trey, that's not because you we're and Liz saying. would love to. No, huh? I don't want to watch animals die. Oh, okay. I don't what wish is, I don't wish them, harm right? upon them. Oh, I miss. But it's not wishing them harm. It's like this is gonna happen. Might as well. Tune in. <laughs> You're I, not causing it. Does I that don't make sense? like watching things die, no matter okay. what it is. Liz felt like she might. <laughs> <laughs> I get called evil. Them. I get called these nasty <laughs> things. That is, it's a particularly hard as a white girl to not like animals. Yeah, you that's do. no one. That's when no one speaks up. And I agree. If if someone's strange dog is coming at Thomas and it's going to try and like lick his face, oh no, no way. Uh, I. I enjoy dogs. I have nothing against them. I I don't like the licking and stuff. Yeah, so, I never did when I had my dogs growing up. I was like, stop licking me. I, I don't want anything to lick me. <laughs> right? Yeah. And, oh, well. And uh, except grandma over there. And the <laughs> Excuse DJs. you? Excuse I just think you? <laughs> It's a, and they don't let you not like them. They're like, right. well, when you get, you'll get one and then you'll know. And it's like, I just let me not like them. <laughs> yeah. So thank you, Liz. Yes. Katie, thank you you're so empowering. much. Please, more animal, non animal lovers. I've, not had, animal I've haters. had a lot of DMs also. People have been DMing me like An- that like they photos? agree. No, that they agree. Just roadkill. <laughs> hey, you got you. one. Thought and they you. also don't like animals. A lot of white girls that we've been. They've been cool. Yeah, a silent been, generation. Yeah. Good. We're empowering. Them. Please send it in. We want to. We want to commiserate together. Mm-hmm. All right. We got one more. Hi, correct opinion gang. My name is Macy. I'm one of the two ladies who gave you guys the correct opinions t-shirts. My mom and I uh, Um, came out to your show, Jake and Trey in Cleveland. Uh, And then we brought my sister to your Pittsburgh Greensburg show. Uh, Both were super fun, super funny. We really, really, really liked it. Um, But I was wondering, and you guys may have mentioned this on the podcast before, but um, Jake, I'm curious how you and Rachel met. And then Trey and Katie, I'm curious how you guys met and what the stories were there. Um, My mom also listens to the podcast, but I didn't tell her that I was submitting a video. So if you guys do play this. (laughs) Hi, mom. (laughs) (laughs) Well, thank you, Macy. She Um, had the mob wife aesthetic going on. She did get a little fur coat. Mm -hmm. She's she's about to get a 
hire somebody to kill her husband. <laughs> oh my it's gosh. The new vibes. Oh my man. gosh. We, I believe we have mentioned this. The, the OGs probably know, but yeah, Katie and I met on Instagram. We Because I'm an influencer and that's, I'm dedicated. He found me on Instagram. You do have to, I think people do assume, no, she had no idea who I was. Didn't follow me. I wasn't a fan or anything. This no. would have been six years ago. Yeah. Whoa. That's crazy. Wow. And it was very, just followed a cute girl and sent her a message and worked out. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Jake, yours. Family reunion? <laughs> <laughs> Mine was, we were at my uncle's house. Distant uncle, I didn't, you know. Um, <laughs> it, we met at a, bare, didn't even really meet, but we were at Top Golf at the same time. Kind of found out that she existed. Didn't know her name, nothing about her. And then happened a week later, saw her again at a pickleball court. Got her, I got her <laughs> first name and got the college she played volleyball at. That was enough. That was what I needed to get to work. Found the roster. I saw she was 5'9". Bingo. Got the last name. DM'd her. Now we're here. Question. Gosh, you that's found so the good. roster because you were making ball. sure she wasn't taller than you? Yeah, because I was kind of sizing her up okay. on the pickleball court. You know, like when a, a yeah. snake will lengthen itself to see if it could swallow you? Mm -hmm. I was kind of doing that. Like, how? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you think? And is it my hair or am I actually my taller? Hair, my, shoe, my shoes are about an inch. Yeah, how big? My shoes are she Air Maxes. I see. Yeah, because I knew it was close. Okay, okay. And I was kind of curious the age as well. Oh, that's you know, fair, I was that's like, fair, she that's said, fair. is she currently there? No. <laughs> yeah, she's not playing now, <laughs> thankfully. So, yeah, I just had to get some data points. That's fine. One of I, which did, being the I last did that. Name. I did that for Trey as well. Got some data points. Yeah. yeah online. Trey's got a Wikipedia. That's easy. Yeah, you know, you see he's, he's got a son named Grimace. You know, it's all accurate. It's pretty <laughs> false. Yeah. It's pretty. <laughs> is it still, because I'm, if you Googled my height, it would say like 5'7. It said 5'8. Yeah. And the top, I love that it's just wrong. The, the literal first three results, Trey Kennedy height, I'll say 5'7". How's that get there? I don't know. <laughs> but it's kind of hilarious. Google my Every height. Single, somewhat, some weirdo started the website wrong and put 5'7". Um, Here we go. Mine says 5'10". Okay. All right. Multiple websites. So you got to, you know, Katie's a good 5'11", 6'6". Yeah, on a good six day. X one thirty. So you got. She was nervous until I had to. I was like, "What? Well, I guess whatever you looked up's wrong." I am. Well, I I'm just taller than you. Was just like, yeah. Please don't like fly to see me if you're. This <laughs> <guy>. <laughs> I get uh, a lot of the meeting the fans. A lot of them like taller than I thought. Wow. Taller than I thought. I don't know because I put off a small vibe. Yeah, you, <laughs> you put off kind of like little man syndrome vibes. Or they think I'm five seven because. Uh. So yeah. Do. Okay, that's it, fans. We're good. Hit us up at the email. It's going to be have a great week. Go Chiefs. What are you doing for the Super Bowl? Go to Brad's house. Go to Brad's house. Yeah, what are we're you? hosting at the studio. Yeah. It's just become a fun place. It's because we got plenty of room. We'll have like eight babies here. Have we're doing a chili cook off combo. Wow. Chili cook off Super Bowl watch party. Can you believe that? Wow. Oh, that's I'm a excited. lot. It's a lot in one day. Save your energy for the game. <laughs> need you. Team needs you. Ooh, we need to move. We, we usually pot on Monday, so it's a pot on Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. we got to celebrate. You never know. And Wednesday's a parade, you know, so. Ooh, are you going to go to the parade? Gotta. If it happens, really? Gotta. I heard uh, Mahomes' dad's driving the bus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Derek, what are you doing for the Super Bowl? At home. Fam? Chiefs are playing, so I'm not inviting anyone over. You're locked in. Yep, yeah. locked in. I don't <laughs> respect. Yeah. I see. Team needs you. I like that. Uh, all right. Like, subscribe. Love you guys. Talk to you next week. Correct opinion.